Kwame Akrama Ampimku C. Anthony Appiah, born May 8, 1954, is a British Ghanaian philosopher, cultural theorist, and novelist whose interests include political and moral theory, the philosophy of language and mind, and African intellectual history. Appiah was the Lawrence S. Rockefeller University Professor of Philosophy at Princeton University, before moving to New York University in 2014. He currently holds an appointment at the NYU Department of Philosophy and NYU School of Law. Personal life and education Appiah was born in London, England, to Peggy Cripps, an English art historian and writer, and Joe Appiah, a lawyer, diplomat, and politician from the Asante region, once part of the British Gold Coast colony but now part of Ghana. For two years 1970 Joe Appiah was the leader of a new opposition party that was made by the country's three opposing parties, simultaneously he was the president of the Ghana Bar Association. Between 1977 and 1978, he was Ghana's representative at the United Nations. He died in an Accra hospital in 1990. Anthony Appiah was raised in Kumasi, Ghana, and educated at Bryanston School and Clare College, Cambridge, where he earned his BA first class and PhD degree in philosophy. He has three sisters, Isabel, Adwa and Abina. As a child, he spent a good deal of time in England, staying with his grandmother Dame Isabel Cripps, widow of the English statesman Sir Stafford Cripps. Appiah's mother's family has a long political tradition. Sir Stafford was a nephew of Beatrice Webb and was Labour Chancellor of the Exchequer 1947 under Clement Attlee. His father, Charles Cripps, was Labour leader of the House of Lords 1929 as Lord Palmore in Ramsay MacDonald's government. Palmore had been a Conservative MP before defecting to Labour. Through his grandmother Isabel Cripps, Appiah is a descendant of John Winthrop and the New England Winthrop family as one of his ancestors. Robert Winthrop was a loyalist during the American Revolutionary War and migrated to England, becoming a distinguished vice admiral in the British Navy. Through Isabel, he is also descended from the British pharmacist James Crossley Eno. Through Professor Appiah's father, a nana of the Ashanti people, he is a direct descendant of Osei Tutu, the warrior emperor of pre-colonial Ghana, whose reigning successor, the Asantehene, is a distant relative of the Appiah family. Also among his African ancestors is the Ashanti nobleman Nana Akrama Ampim I of Nyadjuam, a warrior whose name the professor now bears. He lives with his husband, Henry Finder, in an apartment in Manhattan, and a home in Pennington, New Jersey with a small sheep farm. Appiah has written about what it was like growing up gay in Ghana. His nephew is the actor Adetamiwa Eden. Topic career Appiah taught philosophy and African American studies at the University of Ghana, Cornell, Yale, Harvard, and Princeton universities from 1981 to 1988. He was, until recently, a Lawrence S. Rockefeller University Professor of Philosophy at Princeton with a cross appointment at the University Center for Human Values and was serving as the Bacon Kilkenny Professor of Law at Fordham University in the fall of 2008. Appiah also served on the board of Penn American Center and was on a panel of judges for the Penn, Newman's own First Amendment Award. He has taught at Yale, Cornell, Duke, and Harvard universities and lectured at many other institutions in the U.S., Germany, Ghana and South Africa, and Paris. Until the fall of 2009, he served as a trustee of Ashesi University College in Accra, Ghana. Currently, he is the Professor of Philosophy and Law at NYU. His Cambridge dissertation explored the foundations of probabilistic semantics. In 1992, Appiah published In My Father's House, which won the Herskovitz Prize for African Studies in English. Among his later books are Color Conscious with Amy Goodman, The Ethics of Identity 2005, and Cosmopolitanism, Ethics in a World of Strangers 2006. He has been a close collaborator with Henry Louis Gates, Jr., with whom he edited Africana, the Encyclopedia of the African and African American Experience. Appiah was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1995. In 2008, Appiah published Experiments in Ethics, in which he reviews the relevance of empirical research to ethical theory. 
In the same year, he was recognized for his contributions to racial, ethnic, and religious relations when Brandeis University awarded him the first Joseph B. and Toby Gitler Prize, as well as his academic work. Appiah has also published several works of fiction. His first novel, Avenging Angel, set at the University of Cambridge, involved a murder among the Cambridge Apostles. Sir Patrick Scott is the detective in the novel. Appiah's second and third novels are Nobody Likes Letitia and Another Death in Venice. Appiah has been nominated for, or received, several honors. He was the 2009 finalist in the Arts and Humanities for the Eugene R. Gannon Award for the Continued Pursuit of Human Advancement. In 2010, he was named by Foreign Policy magazine on its list of top global thinkers. On February 13, 2012, Appiah was awarded the National Humanities Medal at a ceremony at the White House. Appiah currently chairs the jury for the Berggruen Prize, and serves on the Berggruen Institute's Philosophy and Culture Center's academic board. Ideas <inaudible> 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 Appiah argues that the formative denotation of culture is ultimately preceded by the efficacy of intellectual interchange. From this position, his views on the efficacy of organizations such as UNICEF and Oxfam are notable for their duality. On the one hand, he seems to appreciate the immediate action these organizations provide, while on the other hand, he points out the long term futility of such intervention. His focus is, instead, on the long-term political and economic development of nations according to the Western capitalist, democratic model, an approach that relies on continued growth in the marketplace that is the capital-driven modern world. However, when capitalism is introduced and it does not take off, as in the Western world, the livelihood of the peoples involved is at stake. Thus, the ethical questions involved are certainly complex, yet the general impression in Appiah's kindness to strangers is one which implies that it is not up to us to save the poor and starving but up to their own governments nation states must assume responsibility for their citizens and a cosmopolitan's role is to appeal to our own government to ensure that these nation states respect provide for and protect their citizens if they will not we are obliged to change their minds if they cannot we are obliged to provide assistance, but only our fair share, that is, not at the expense of our own comfort, or the comfort of those nearest and dearest to us. Appiah's early philosophical work dealt with probabilistic semantics and theories of meaning, but his more recent books have tackled philosophical problems of race and racism, identity, and moral theory. His current work tackles three major areas. One, the philosophical foundations of liberalism, two, the questioning of methods in arriving at knowledge about values, and three, the connections between theory and practice in moral life, all of which concepts can also be found in his book Cosmopolitanism, Ethics in a World of Strangers. On postmodern culture Appiah writes, postmodern culture is the culture in which all postmodernisms operate, sometimes in synergy, sometimes in competition, and because contemporary culture is, in a certain sense to which I shall return, transnational, postmodern culture is global, though that emphatically does not mean that it is the culture of every person in the world. Topic. Cosmopolitanism. Appiah has been influenced by the cosmopolitanist philosophical tradition, which stretches from German philosophers such as G. W. F. Hegel through W. E. B. Du Bois and others. In his article, Education for Global Citizenship, Appiah outlines his conception of cosmopolitanism. He therein defines cosmopolitanism as universality plus difference. Building from this definition, he asserts that the first takes precedence over the latter, that is, different cultures are respected, not because cultures matter in themselves, but because people matter, and culture matters to people. But Appiah first defined it as its problems but ultimately determines that practicing a citizenship of the world and conversation is not only helpful in a post-9-11 world. Therefore, according to Appiah's take on this ideology, cultural differences are to be respected in so far as they are not harmful to people and in no way conflict with our universal concern for every human's life and well-being. In his book Cosmopolitanism: Ethics in a World of Strangers, 2006, Appiah introduces two ideas that intertwine in the notion of cosmopolitanism. Emerging 69 
The first is the idea that we have obligations to others that are bigger than just sharing citizenship. The second idea is that we should never take for granted the value of life and become informed of the practices and beliefs of others. Kwame Appiah frequents university campuses to speak to students. One request he makes is, "...see one movie with subtitles a month." Criticism of Afrocentric world view Appiah has been a critic of contemporary theories of Afrocentrism. In his 1997 essay, "'Europe Upside Down, Fallacies of the New Afrocentrism'", he argues that current Afrocentricism is striking for "'how thoroughly at home it is in the frameworks of 19th-century European thought." particularly as a mirror image to Eurocentric constructions of race and a preoccupation with the ancient world. Appiah also finds an irony in the conception that if the source of the West lies in ancient Egypt via Greece, then, "...its legacy of ethnocentrism is presumably one of our moral liabilities." His critique of contemporary Afrocentrism has been criticized by some of its leading proponents, such as Temple University African American Studies scholar and activist Molfi Asante, who has characterized Appiah's work as anti African. Allegations have been made about the integrity of his scholarship. <laughs> In popular culture In 2007, Appiah was a contributing scholar in the PBS broadcast documentary Prince Among Slaves produced by Unity Productions Foundation. In 2007 he also appeared in the TV documentary series Racism, a history as an on-screen contributor. Appiah appeared alongside a number of contemporary philosophers in Astra Taylor's 2008 film Examined Life where he discussed his views on cosmopolitanism. In 2009, he was an on screen contributor to the movie Herskovitz, At the Heart of Blackness. In 2015, he became one of three contributors to the New York Times Magazine column, The Ethicist, before assuming sole authorship of the column later that year. He delivered the BBC's Wreath Lectures in late 2016 on the theme of mistaken identities. In 2018, Appiah appeared in the episode, Can We Live Forever? Are the documentary series explained? Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honors. Anisfield Wolf Book Award for In My Father's House, April 1993. Honorable mention: James Russell Lowell Prize of the Modern Language Association for In My Father's House, December 1993. 1993 Herskovitz Award of the African Studies Association, for the best work published in English on Africa, for In My Father's House, December 1993 Annual Book Award, 1996, North American Society for Social Philosophy, for the book making the most significant contribution to social philosophy, for Color Conscious, May 1997 Ralph J. Bunch Award, American Political Science Association, for the best scholarly work in political science which explores the phenomenon of ethnic and cultural pluralism, for Color Conscious, July 1997 Outstanding book on the subject of human rights in North America, Gustavus Myers Center for the Study of Human Rights in North America, for Color Conscious, December 10, 1997 Honorable Mention, Gustavus Myers Outstanding Book Award, Gustavus Myers Center for the Study of Bigotry and Human Rights for the Ethics of Identity, December 9, 2005 Editor's Choice New York Times Book Review, The Ethics of Identity, June 26, 2005 Amazon.com Best Books of 2005, Top 10 Editor's Picks, Nonfiction, The Ethics of Identity, December 2005 Arthur Ross Book Award of the Council on Foreign Relations, Cosmopolitanism, May 2007 Finalist for Estoril Global Ethics Book Prize, for Cosmopolitanism 2009. A Times Literary Supplements Book of the Year 2010 for the Honor Code One of New York Times Book Review's 100 Notable Books of 2010 for the Honor Code New Jersey Council for the Humanities Book Award 2011 for the Honor Code 
Global Thought Leaders Index 2015, number 95, The World Post. In August 2016, Professor Appiah was invested with a chieftaincy of the Ashanti people of Nyajuam, his family's ancestral chiefdom in Ghana. In 2017 he was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. In June 2017 he was named by the Carnegie Corporation of New York as one of its 2017 great immigrants. Bibliography. <inaudible> 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 Topic books Assertion and Conditionals. Cambridge Studies in Philosophy Series. Cambridge Cambridge Sheer New York, Cambridge University Press. 1985. ISBN 9780521304115. For Truth in Semantics. Philosophical Theory Series. Oxford, UK, New York New York, USA, B. Blackwell. 1986. ISBN 9780631145310. Hayden, Michael. 1989. London, New York, Methuen, Oxford University Press. 1992. ISBN 9780195068511. With Gutman, Amy Color Conscious, The Political Morality of Race. Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press. ISBN 9780691026619. With Appiah, Peggy, Agyeman Dua, Iva. BU Me B, Proverbs of the Akans. Oxfordshire, UK, I. B. Clark. ISBN 9780955507922. Cosmopolitischer Patriotismus in German. Frankfurt am Main, Surkamp. 2001. ISBN 9783518122303. With Gates Jr., Henry Louis, ed. 2003. Africana, the Encyclopedia of the African and African American Experience, the Concise Desk Reference. Philadelphia, Running Press. ISBN 9780762416424. Thinking It Through – An Introduction to Contemporary Philosophy. Oxford New York, Oxford University Press. 2003. ISBN 9780195134582. The Ethics of Identity. Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press. 2005. ISBN 9780691130286, translated as, La Etica de la Identidad in Spanish. Buenos Aires, Madrid, Katz Editors. 2007. ISBN 9788493543242, Cosmopolitanism, Ethics in a World of Strangers. New York, W. W. Norton & Co. 2006. ISBN 9780141027889. Hayden, Michael. 1981. Toronto, Canada, ICC at the Royal Ontario Museum. 2008. ISBN 9780888544643. Experiments in Ethics. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. 2008. 
ISBN 9780674034500 translated as Experimentos de Ética in Spanish. Buenos Aires, Madrid, Katz Editors. 2010. ISBN 9788492946112, Mi Cosmopolitismo in Spanish. Buenos Aires, Madrid, Katz Editors. 2008. ISBN 9788496859371. En coedición con el Centro de Cultura Contemporánea de Barcelona, The Honor Code, How Moral Revolutions Happen. New York, W. W. Norton, 2010. ISBN 9780393071627. Lines of Descent, W. E. B. Du Bois and the Emergence of Identity. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. 2014. ISBN 9780674419346. Karpai, Pooja, ed. 2015. A Decent Respect, Honor in the Life of People and of Nations, Hokulaga Lectures 2015. Faculty of Law, University of Hong Kong. Original Lecture. As If, Idealization and Ideals. Based on the 2013 Paul Karras Lectures. Cambridge, Harvard University Press, 2017. The Lies That Bind, Rethinking Identity, Profile Books, 2018 ISBN 978-1781259238 Novel Savaging Angel. New York, St. Martin's Press. 1991. ISBN 9780312058118. Kaplan, Pooja, ed. 1994. Another Death in Venice. London, Constable. 1995. ISBN 9780094744327. Kaplan, Pooja, ed. 1984. Strictures on Structures – The Prospects for a Structuralist Poetics of African Fiction in Gates, Jr., Henry Louis, ed., Black Literature and Literary Theory, New York, Methuen, pp. 127-150, ISBN 9780415903327. Kaplan, Pooja, ed., 1985. Soyinka and the Philosophy of Culture. In Bodunrin, P.O. ed., Philosophy in Africa, Trends and Perspectives, ILIFE, Nigeria, University of IFE Press, pp. 250-263, ISBN 9789781363. Kaplan, Pooja, ed., 1987. A Long Way From Home, Richard Wright in the Gold Coast. In Bloom, Harold, ed., Richard Wright, Modern Critical Views Series, New York, Chelsea House Publishers, pp. 173–190, ISBN 9780877546767 Kaplan, Pooja, ed., 1990. Race. In Lentritia, Frank, McLaughlin, Tom, eds., Critical Terms for Literary Study, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, pp. 274–287, ISBN 9780226472278 Kaplan, Pooja, ed., 1990. Racisms. In Goldberg, David, ed., Anatomy of Racism, Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press, pp. 3-17, ISBN 9780816618002. Kaplan, Pooja, ed., 1991. Tolerable Falsehoods, Agency and the Interests of Theory. 
In Johnson, Barbara, Arak, Jonathan Eds, Consequences of Theory, Baltimore, Johns Hopkins University Press, pp. 63–90, ISBN 9780801840400 Jonathan, Barbara, Arak, Jonathan eds, Consequences of Theory, Baltimore, Johns Hopkins University Press, pp. 63–90, ISBN 9780801840400 Jonathan, Eds, Consequences of Theory, Baltimore, Johns Hopkins in Mudimbi, Valentine Eve, ed., The Surreptitious Speech, Presence Africaine and the Politics of Otherness, 1947–1987, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, pp. 227–237, ISBN 9780226545 Jonathan, Barbara, Arak, Jonathan eds, Consequences of Theory in Achebe, Chinua, ed., Things Fall Apart, Everyman's Library Series, No. 135, New York, Knopf Distributed by Random House, pp. XXVII, ISBN 9780679446. Jonathan, Barbara, Arak, Jonathan eds, Consequences of Theory, Baltimore, Johns in Amzel, Jean Loup, Appia, Anthony, Bagayogo, Shaka, Chrétien, Jean-Pierre, Daclia, Jocelyn, Gellner, Ernest, LaRue, Richard, Mudimbi, Valentin Eve, Topolsky, Jersey, Eds, Constructions Identitaires, Questionements Theoriques et Etudes de CAs, Quebec, Sellet, University Laval, ISBN 9782920576. Jonathan, Barbara, Fernanda Saint Martin sous la direction de Bogumil Jusievitsky et Jocelyn Latourneau, Actes du Sellet No. 6, Mai 1992. Appia, Kwame Anthony, Mudimbi, V.Y. 1993. The Impact of African Studies on Philosophy. In Bates, Robert H., Mudimbi, V.Y., Obar, Jean, Eds., Africa and the Disciplines, The Contributions of Research in Africa to the Social Sciences and Humanities, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, pp. 113-138, ISBN 9780226039053. Jonathan, Barbara, Arak, Jonathan Eds, Identity, Authenticity, Survival, Multicultural Societies and Social Reproduction", in Taylor, Charles, Gutman, Amy eds. Multiculturalism, Examining the Politics of Recognition, Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press, pp. 149–164, ISBN 9780691037073 Appiah, Kwame Anthony 1995. "'Philosophy and Necessary Questions' in Kwame, Safro ed., Readings in African Philosophy, and a Can Collection, Lanham, University Press of America, pp. 1–22, ISBN 9780819199539 Jonathan, Barbara, Race, Culture, Identity, Misunderstood Connections", in Peterson, Grethby ed., The Tanner Lectures on Human Values 17, Salt Lake City, University of Utah Press, pp. 51–136, ISBN 9780585197708 in Pittman, John, ed., African American Perspectives and Philosophical Traditions, New York, Routledge, pp. 11-34, ISBN 9780415916987. Jonathan, Barbara, Arak, Jonathan eds, Consequences of Theory, Baltimore, Johns Hopkins in Grinker, Roy Richard, Steiner, Christopher B. Eds, Perspectives on Africa, A Reader in Culture, History, and Representation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Blackwell, pp. 728-731, ISBN 9781557816. Jonathan, Barbara, Arak, Jonathan Eds, Consequences is the post in postcolonial the post in postmodern? 
In McClintock, Anne, Mufti, Amir, Shohat, Ella, Eds, Dangerous Liaisons, Gender, Nation, and Postcolonial Perspectives, Minnesota, Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press, pp. 420-444, ISBN 9780816626000 1996. Appiah, Kwame Anthony. 1996. Identity, political, not cultural. In Garber, Marjorie, Wolkowitz, Rebecca L., Franklin, Paul B. Eds. Field Work: Sites in Literary and Cultural Studies. New York: Routledge, pp. 34 to 40. ISBN 9780415914550. Appiah, Kwame Anthony Yambo au Alugem and the Meaning of Postcoloniality. In Wise, Christopher Ed. Yambo au Logem, Postcolonial Writer, Islamic Militant, Boulder, Colorado, Lynn Riena Publishers, pp. 55–63, ISBN 9780894108006. Appiah, Kwame Anthony Aufklärung und Dialog der Kulturen. In Krull, Wilhelm Ed. Zukunftsstreit in German, Weilerwest, Velbrook Wissenschaft, pp. 305 328, ISBN 9783934730175. Appiah, K. Anthony. Grounding Human Rights. In Gutmann, Amy, Ed. Michael Ignatieff, Human Rights as Politics and Idolatry, The University Center for Human Values Series, Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press, pp. 101-116, ISBN 9780691114175. Appiah, Kwame Anthony 2001. Stereotypes and the Shaping of Identity. In Post, Robert C. Ed. Prejudicial Appearances, The Logic of American Anti-Discrimination Law, Durham, Duke University Press, pp. 55–71, ISBN 9780822327134. Appiah, Kwame Anthony The State and the Shaping of Identity in Peterson, Grethby, ed. The Tanner Lectures on Human Values 23, Salt Lake City, University of Utah Press, pp. 235-297, ISBN 9780874807185. Appiah, Kwame Anthony 2009. Sends Identities. In Canberra, Ravi, Basu, Kaushik, Eds, Arguments for a Better World, Essays in Honor of Amartya Sen, Volume 1, Ethics, Welfare, and Measurement, Oxford, New York, Oxford University Press, pp. 475-488, ISBN 9780199239242. Appiah, Kwame Anthony 1981. Structuralist Criticism and African Fiction, an Analytic Critique. Black American Literature Forum. 15 4, 165–174. DOI 10.2307/2904328 JSTOR 2904328 October 1984 An Argument Against Anti-Realist Semantics Mind 93 372-559 DOI 10.1093 Mind XCII.372.559 JSTOR 2254262 November 1984. Generalizing the Probabilistic Semantics of Conditionals. Journal of Philosophical Logic. 13 4, 351-372. DOI, 10.1007, BF0024710. JSTOR 30226312. The 1st of July 1985. 
verificationism and the manifestations of meaning. Aristotelian Society, Supplementary Volume 59, 17 to 31. DOI 10.1093 Aristotelians up 59.1.17. Autumn 1985. The Uncompleted Argument, Du Bois and the Illusion of Race. Critical Inquiry. 12 1, 21 to 37. DOI 10.1086 JSTOR 1343460. April 1986. The Importance of Triviality. The Philosophical Review. 95 2, 209 to 231. DOI 101 JSTOR 2185590 Spring 1986. Review, Deconstruction and the Philosophy of Language Reviewed Work, The Deconstructive Turn, Essays in the Rhetoric of Philosophy by Christopher Norris. Diacritics. 16 48–64. DOI, 464650 JSTOR 464650. Spring Summer 1986. Review Are We Ethnic? The Theory and Practice of American Pluralism. Reviewed work Beyond Ethnicity, Consent and Dissent in American Culture by Werner Sollers. Black American Literature Forum. 20 1 2, 209 224. DOI 10.2307/2904561 JSTOR 2904561 Winter Spring 1987 Racism and Moral Pollution The Philosophical Forum 18 2 to 3 185 to 202 DOI 10.1111 ISSN 1467-9191 Spring 1988 Out of Africa Topologies of Nativism Yale Journal of Criticism 2 1 153-178 Autumn 1990 Alexander Crummel and the Invention of Africa The Massachusetts Review 31 3, 385 to 406 JSTOR 25090195 Publishers website October 1990 quote quote but would that still be me notes on gender race ethnicity as sources of identity quote quote the journal of philosophy 87 10 493 to 499 DOI 10.5840 J fill 1990871026 JSTOR 226866 Spring 1993 African American Philosophy The Philosophical Forum 24 1 to 3 1 to 24 DOI 10.1111 ISSN 1467-9191 Spring 1998 Race, Pluralism and Afrocentricity The Journal of Blacks in Higher Education 19 116 118 DOI 10.2307 2998938 JSTOR 2998938 2004. Comprendre les reparations, une réflexion préliminaire. Understanding reparation, a preliminary reflection. Cahiers d'études africaines in French and English. 44, 173-174, 25-40. DOI, 10.4000, Etudes Africaines.4518. JSTOR 4393367. April 2008. Chapter 6, Education for Global Citizenship. Yearbook of the National Society for the Study of Education. 107 183-99. 
DOI 10.1111/j.1744-7984.200 8.00133x The 21st of September 2010 Convincing other cultures to change Big Think archived from the original on the 12th of December 2013 CS1 maint bot original URL status unknown link Topic See also African philosophy Africana philosophy